So if I've done this correctly, uh, you won't be seeing much other than that blue LED from the SVS uh, SB16 Ultra uh, as soon as the fan goes off. There we go. Alexa, assemble the Avengers. go so that's how the theater comes to life and uh, just wanted everybody to see what settings so picture mode is cinema and uh, we'll be turning the brightness all the way down hold on one second okay there you go Sorry about that. There was a smudge on the lens. Okay, so this is the uh, Epson LS800 uh, W. And we're going to go to These clips are on HBO. Should be able to check those out. And the brightness is uh, so that's the lowest it'll get. And uh, we're going to start off with Justice League. in grayscale.
grayscale tester 4K. Uh, it doesn't do Dolby Vision. Um, now let's see if we can get a Let me find it. One second. Gravity. That was the name. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll play this scene. Uh, and again, it's there's no lights on. It's pitch black. Except for the light from the projector. All structure and encrypting. Do you copy? <laughs> different uh, looks at the pitch black performance on the Epson LS800. Uh, you see it's in cinema mode. Uh, the brightness is down as low as I can make it go. Uh, I will say the fan noise, as you can hear, nothing, you know, so I wouldn't worry about that. Even at, at full brightness, it, it's nothing that I, I've ever been concerned about. So. Um, 
you know, projectors cannot make the screen black. That is a hundred percent down to the ambient light in the room, not the projector's ability. And that's the difference that ambient light makes when you're looking at a scene like that, you know, where, I mean, obviously all the parts that you can see, her lights and suit and all that stuff, and even the, all the stars, that's the projector creating light, but it can't take light away from the screen. Uh, the screen's reflecting what is being projected onto it. Uh, there's nothing that the projector can do uh, to, to make it black. Uh, and <clears throat> if you think about OLEDs or uh, mini LED TVs, uh, what are they doing to make it black? They're turning lights off. OLEDs turn off individual pixels. Uh, mini LEDs turn off zones uh, of pixels to remove light from that area. Well, that's impossible uh, with a projector and just to give you a better sense of what's going on with the projector. So to protect the uh, glass that's, um, that the light is coming out of, there's a second piece of glass that the image is being projected through. Well, that glass is diffusing light across the whole screen, no matter what. So this up here is getting light on it, even though no part of the movie is being projected up there because the glass is diffusing light across the whole as, as big as you've got your image projected onto the screen, that's uh, where the glass is going to be diffusing light uh, across that whole section of uh, projector screen. So as much as you would like it to be completely black, uh, it, it's, it's never ever going to be that unless you've got total light control in your room. Uh, and, you know, for you guys wondering about whether or not you're going to get the white one, ask yourself if you can deal with that uh, reflection of the light off of the projector back down, I mean off of the projector screen back down onto the projector um, with the white projector. Uh, you know, is that something you're okay with? Um, I have um, an LG H... U915QE coming uh, that's also white. Uh, as soon as I get that and get it set up, uh, I'll be testing that out. Um, I sent back the AWOL 3500 um, <clears throat> and uh, the other Epson uh, LS800 that was black. Um, it was not having an audio issue specific to that unit. Uh, the, they both uh, are, don't have ER ports uh, and won't send audio from the game port through the surround sound system. Uh, I'll do another video if I end up keeping this one or, or maybe even anyway, um, describing what had to happen to get audio uh, while gaming and still keep the... Um, 16 millisecond lag time uh, on the projector. But um, that's uh, <laughs> my dog has gas. Anyway, that's what the projector's doing at night. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, that's what the projector looks like at night. Uh, and, you know, just uh, in time, the screensaver comes on. So you get a, a full um, color image when it's pitch black. Um, I don't know if we're keeping a projector or not. I do like the technology. Uh, it's just amazing to me that you can 
project from down there up there and get that image to look that awesome when it's a color image. Um, as for the black levels, uh, man, you know, um, coming from the Samsung QN 800A, uh, I, I know it's not OLED black, but it did 500 times better than any projector can do. So that's hard to let go of. And I can certainly understand why anyone with an OLED wouldn't want it to get any darker than pitch black when they're watching movies with perfect black levels. All right. See you guys later. Peace.